Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So there's an OS which has amazing features and I would like few of them to come on Oxygen OS 15. And you guys let us know in the comment section below according to you guys which feature you want on upcoming Oxygen OS 15 based on Android 15. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my owner 200 device and this runs on Magic OS 8.0 which is based on Android 14. So here you can see device is on a 200, it runs on Magic OS 8.0 which is based on Android 14. We won't waste much of time and directly start with the features. But before that, if you guys are new to this channel and if you find our content useful, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So the first feature which I like the most on this device or you can say the OS, that's layer 2 lock screen. So if you go under home screen and styles, under always on display, there's this always on display based on full screen. Partial screens we have already seen, these are available on almost every smartphone nowadays. But the full screen AOD was introduced on Apple phones and it has also been added on Magic OS. So basically full screen AOD shows a dimmed version of your lock screen where you can also apply your photos or any other wallpaper. And this is how it looks on lock screen. Though it can drain slight extra battery of your device, but with no doubt, this looks pretty cool. And it's not like they have only given this option. We also have the options like lock screen customizations. So if you tap on the clock, you can see there are ample of clock styles available, which you can choose from. And along with that, there are also many color palettes available, though they should have given the option to customize the colors as per our requirement instead of giving these static colors. Later on, you have the option to change the lock screen style where you have some magic lock screen options. You can also change the decorations. There are few presets available and you have the option to select any photo from the gallery too. Here also we have some color palettes available. Again, they should have given an option to customize or you know the ability to set a color palette as per our requirement. You also get the option to share the lock screen with your friends. You can adjust the photo as per your requirement by pinching in and pinching out. And any portrait and landscape photo sits perfect in the frames what they have given. So you guys let us know do you want such lock screen on Oxygen OS 15 or not. And one add-on which I want OnePlus to do on Oxygen OS 15 that's layer to the AI suggestions in the control center. So here you can see there's a dedicated tile for AI which suggests you a few options as per your usage pattern. Now talking about the home screen, so here also I would say they have done a great job. It's not up to that level what iOS 18 has, but it's not bad at all. So for example, if you have any application open, you can expand the application and have quick access to few options. If you take another example, here we have the camera application. If I long press on it, I have the option to expand it and I get few options like video recording or selfie. And further also I can expand it more, getting another additional option. And this thing you can do with any of the applications. Also related to AI, they have also given an option of AI suggestions, which suggest you a few applications depending on your usage. Also, you can stack multiple widgets on the home screen, which lets you save some more space. And this OS also reminds me of few custom rooms where they had many transition options. Though OnePlus do have the transition options, but they are limited. Here they have added some good transitions. And another quite handy feature what they have added which is in the recent page. So for example, if you are in a recent page and you want to lock the application with just single swipe, you just swipe down the application and you can see the application gets locked. Unlike Oxygen OS, you have to go to the settings and then lock the application. With a single swipe, you can unlock and with a single swipe, you can lock the application. I also like the ability to hold a photo and drop it in any of the application. On OnePlus, we do have the option, but there we have the option of file drop. But here I can drop in any of the application. For example, if I drop in Telegram, the Telegram will open in pop-up view. On Android 14 itself, they have added some AI features. One of them is this face-to-face -face translation. Basically, it can come in very handy recently Samsung have introduced. So here we have an icon of it. You can tap on it and have face-to-face -face conversation if you are traveling somewhere out. And if you don't understand or not aware about their local language. Currently, it do supports few languages, but this feature can come in very handy if it supports regional languages too. Like OnePlus Dynamic Island, they also have this magic capsule and it can work with multiple applications at a time. OnePlus currently supports applications like Spotify for music but here it do have the support of other music players also. Currently you can see I'm playing the music in YouTube music application and along with that you can run another application. So here if I start the timer you can see now both the application data can be seen here and there are also few nice gestures like for example if I swipe up the application and take it towards the left side the application will open in split screen mode. And if I take it towards the right side, this will open in pop-up view. And I also like the gesture to take a screenshot. You just double tap on the screen with the knuckle and the device will automatically take a screenshot. 
and you can also knock and draw on the screen to take a partial screenshot. You can knock with your two fingers to start screen recording. And I also want this feature to be on Oxygen OS. Now we can only open the camera application by double pressing the power key. But here it also lets you take photo also just with the double press. And the last feature which I like on this OS that's the AI feature what they have introduced on keyboard application. By default they are using the Swift keyboard. If you have Google keyboard installed it won't work. Let me show you how can you use those AI features. So for example if I want to send this message I'll tap on these three dots and there's this option called editor. And guys I'm not sure whether this feature works on other devices also with this keyboard. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. But here on this device it comes by default. So here you can see it says AI generated and towards the top side we have the option to select between tones which is professional, cash polite, social post etc. And if you want to compose a mail or a message that can also be done here. You just give your context, select the tone, format and the length. The AI will automatically generate the message or mail for you. A very handy feature which every brand should implement. So guys these are some of the interesting features which I found on Magic OS 8.0 and I seriously want OnePlus to add such features with Oxygen OS 15. And if you have any kind of questions do drop them in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.